Right, hello! <laughs> Right, my friends, now, a month or three ago, I was sat there in my bedroom, out of ideas, and I saw Drew Gooden post a video buying every Instagram advert he saw for a week. And we stole it. Thank you, Drew. I guess you could say you really are a Gooden. Now, what we did, if you remember, is we stuck a GoPro to my chest, and we went around London, and every advert we saw for 24 hours, we bought. Now, in that video, we ended up spending £36,029. Here's the story of how that went. Also, my friends, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. I am desperate and I am begging. There are so many people who watch this channel every day who aren't subscribed, so if you wouldn't mind just double checking to see if the button's not red. We, uh, we don't like red buttons around these parts. If you whack it, it's free. And if you think I'm a knob further down the line, you could always unpress it. Thank you very much. Back to the video. All right, come on then, walk us through it. Here are some of the fantastic purchases you've made today. £1.90 for some Twister ice lollies. Are they the swirly ones with the green? They are, they're the, the lime ones. Coke Zero, it's four for three pound. Not a fan. Well, you've got four of them. Great, we'll go wild. KFC, eight pound. Brilliant. Domino's two for Tuesday, 20 quid. I'm gonna be skin and fat. Eight ninety nine for some Max Factor Divine Lashes. Brilliant. Zap Online Groceries. So basically it's just like, Go and Tesco or whatever. Yes, but you don't have to move. Brilliant. Next, I think it's pronounced Get Here Groceries. Oh, okay, good. Why don't we get the grocery ones and make them do a race? That's such a good idea. Let's order the same thing and let's see a race. Next, we've got Apple Music. Now, that's coming out at $14.99 a month. I don't know if you want to cancel that. Well, to be honest, do you know what? I still use Kieran Spotify. Literally, as we speak, he's listening to Give Me More by Britney Spears. I also like, you know, how you can change it remotely? Just changing his tunes to John Cena's entrance music. You bought a £24 and 98 pence toolbox. Brilliant. £45 for afternoon tea on a London bus. That sounds shite. Out of all places you want afternoon tea, a bus is not one of them. I'm gonna be shaking all over the gaff, but fuck it, we'll go. You've got the skinny pills. They were £134.70. You got a pack of three, so. My God. £590 for an Alexander McQueen gathered sleeve t-shirt. Uh, do you think I'll suit it? Uh, the Samsung S21 phone. I'd rather go blind than use an Android. £800 tickets to the Euros. You know the, uh, the igloo that you were really excited about? Yes, yes. You know that costs £839. No, no! It costs how much? 800 quid! It costs more than the tickets to the Euros. <laughs> That's going to be great when we fill it all up here. That is going to be brilliant. I am looking forward to the igloo. It's got LEDs in it, you know. Yeah. It's a functional company purchase, Mr. Taxman. You saw an advert for a, a television. Now that TV wasn't any TV. It was in fact an 8K TV, which is rather large. I didn't even know they made that many kids. Most of them were five grand-ish. After some very intense searching, I did manage to find one for £1,146. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay, good. I don't know how bad this one is to warrant that much of a price dip. That's everything apart from one item. Item. And before that one item, you've spent £5,579.71p. On what, bro? On what? A telly and a fucking... An address. <laughs> oh, a telly and address. The car is... Yes. It's a hybrid. Yep. It's £30,450. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, my friends, sorry that this has taken so long. We waited for everything to arrive, then we moved, and then we got COVID. Uh, and then you lot wanted us to watch every bloody episode of Love Island. But now we're here. And uh, if you watched the first episode, you will have seen we saw an advert for an all-natural lung cleaning device. And that was one of the first things to get here. All right, so first up is the Air Physio here. This thing we found on like a Daily Mail website claims to give you healthy lungs. Now, if we look at the box here, yeah, it says Australian made. As if that's supposed to sell it to you. Like, what are them not ever brought to the table? Foster's beer? That tastes like piss. It also says here in a little silver star, awarded best product. By who? What, best product ever? <laughs> I'm gonna have the fucking lungs of Iron Man after this. Why is air physio needed? Good question, fella. Okay, so this 
this is the little bad boy. It's just a few pieces of plastic, which I'm uh, over the moon. Uh, I paid 60 great British pounds for. It's got like this little metal ball in it, right? And when you blow it, it's like lung training. Now, I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, that was me lungs doing a bit of a bench press. It's actually quite fun. So basically now, I could suck off a whole rugby team and I wouldn't even have to stop for breath. Okay, so we're now just 60 pounds down and I'll not bother showing you like the KFC or the Domino's or any of the food, because to be honest, all of that went ages ago. However, last Thursday, there was the absolutely monumental Gatia versus Zap final showdown. Right, hello my friends. Today, you join me in a park. So what we did is we saw that advert for Getia and for Zap, as you can see on our lovely poster here. Believe it or not, this cost 50 quid. Today, we have come to this park with a little table to find out which of these delivery services is the best one. What we're gonna do is we're going to order exactly the same thing from both delivery services, but whoever gets here first is crowned the, uh, the, well, the champion, really, while the other one's stock price tumbles. So we've got a little trophy here, and we've also got a cash prize for the driver. Let's have it. Now, we need to make sure it, it's fair and it's equal, so it has to be the same thing. So I've, uh, I've just scouted out both of the apps, and something they both do is a loaf of sourdough bread. And we're gonna order these and see which one comes first. Aha, okay, ordered, ordered, ordered. And we're off. Oh, so one's coming from the north, one's coming from the south. Oh my God, there's an advert for Zap. They know. Gatier is literally two blocks away, whereas Zap, it looks like a big old long road. Gatia has literally got here. A joke. Apparently it's here. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! You win! You win! Hello, mate. Uh, have you got my bread? You win the race today. Uh, I've got a, a trophy for you and I've got a cash prize of £250 for yourself. Do you hear that? I was watching you right now. Bollocks. That's uh, 250 pounds for you. Uh, this is the new official friend of the Will and E channel. What's oh, your name, man. sir? Suarez. Suarez. Big up Suarez. Take care. Fuck Zap. Fuck, Fuck Zap. Zap. <laughs> Zap is literally, they've, mate, they've moved the street. He's already leaving. What a useless company, eh? Throwing adverts in the background. Maybe you should spend that money on employing people like Suarez. Our good friend Suarez. Birth name, definitely Suarez. We're just waiting now, really. Hope he's happy with himself. Oh, oh, I've just had a text. Zap is arriving soon. Thank you, my friend. Could you, could you just put it there, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Just here, please. Thank you very much. Have a good day. How was your order? 17 minutes that took. 17. Anyway, then we're toolbox arrived. So yeah, we, uh, we got myself one of these. Uh, what I didn't realize though, is it, it doesn't come with any tools. Uh, it's just, just an empty box. Actually, Mikey, uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, can we just edit some in, please? Oh, also, uh, look at what's inside. I found a way of stacking the odds in a pack of two and get one. All right, and then arrived the worst thing we managed to buy in this whole video, and that is this shirt. That was 590 pounds. Now it, uh, it says here on the website, tuck it into shorts for a modern look. I just look like I've come straight from a care home. Anyway, then you may remember we saw an advert for a PS5. Now weirdly, like six months ago, I swapped G1 for a Hoover. So I was already sorted with one. But if you were a long time enjoyer of the E-Boys podcast, well, firstly, get your head checked. But secondly, you may remember someone who wasn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up and send it across to him. Hello, so I'm currently away from home and Will has sent me a gift. Let's see what we got here then, boys. 
What the fuck? <laughs> why, why has he sent me this? <laughs> Dude, it doesn't even look real. All right, so I then told James to record himself and give us a call and you know, ooh, bit of a reaction. But that fucking idiot just recorded me. So that's 500 quid I'll never see again. Moving on. 45 pounds for afternoon tea on a London bus. That sounds shite. I'm gonna be shaking all over the gaff, but fuck it, we'll go. And go we did. Now, we couldn't get a seat on the bus we saw an advert for. No, apparently there was too many living and breathing real people who were willing to pay for that this Tuesday, so we couldn't get booked. Instead, we spent 110 Great British Pounds on two tickets to the English Tea Bus. Good God. And I'll be honest, right? This is the worst thing I've ever spent money on in my whole life. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, I've got nothing against afternoon tea or buses. Like, they're both all right. They, they've got a purpose. They do a job. But why the fuck would you mix the two? Afternoon tea you're supposed to have at some, like, local hall with your nan on her 70th birthday. Not the fucking 305. And when I say this bus was knackered, this bus was knackered. I went there, right, expecting something out of, like, a 2014 Soella video. Like, pure Great British Bake Off on wheels. No, it was just some normal fucking bus. That just happened to have some tiny sandwiches on it. This thing had clearly ran like 20 million laps of Croydon Town Centre throughout the course of its lifetime. And when it finally couldn't hack it anymore, when it sat there in the shed on its last legs, begging to just be left to die in peace, they whacked some stickers on it and sent it back out to rob some tourists. Now, if you look here, right, this is the kind of sightseeing route that we went round. And we did see some lovely sights, such as some dirt, uh, bins, some scaffolding. Genuinely tragic. And if you're looking at this thing in bloody hell, Will, your camera's a bit shit, I can barely see anything. No, that's just the fucking window. That, that poor bus has just had 20 years of exposure to youths and their keys, and now he can't even fucking see anything out the front of the panoramic tour bus. Now, London, as I'm sure you'll know, is renowned for two things, stabbings and traffic. So this route we took on this glorious, sunny, lovely, brilliant afternoon took two hours and 15 minutes. You know what you can do in two hours and 15 minutes? Walk that fucking route and still have time for a cuppa afterwards. Honestly, Fucking shambles. <laughs> He's having a good time. Although, uh, to make it a fair review, I do have two positive things to say. Uh, there was a lovely little French lady who did the tour as we went round. Ilham, if you're watching this, none of that applied to you. Two, admittedly, it did kind of make me like cherish and appreciate London as we kind of drove around. I thought, wow, you know, genuinely what a wonderful place. I thought to myself, it must be amazing to be one of those people there and not on this fucking bus. All right, then moving on, we saw an advert for some Magic Mike tickets. Now I was well up for this, but then I heard they don't actually get their cock out. I thought it wasn't worth me time if I wasn't gonna see a bit of shaft. So instead I sent Mia and Chris's girlfriend, Shannon, and me and Mikey planned a big night in. Watch me walk away, putting myself on display. One, two, three a day. I'm on my way, on my way. I am not a raincoat here to keep you warm. If you go back in the closet, I'ma have you on tiptoes, watching my diamond after glow. I know you wanna take me home. I'm on my way, on my way. Next up, we saw an advert for a phone last time. Now you lot know my beliefs on Android, uh, so we're giving it away. I managed to buy one off Amazon that was like 200 quid cheaper than the rest, and it, it's come without a box. But it is new, and it's a working phone, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide it in a bush and see how long it is until someone comes to get it. Now, Mikey, I would like to make a bet with you. Yes. I feel like we should both guess how long it's gonna take for this item to be acquired uh, by the stinking lot. If you're closest, you win a hundred pounds. If I'm closest, 
you've got to like and subscribe. So how long do you think it'll be from when we put the tweet out? Seven minutes and 37 seconds. All right, I will say six minutes and 24 seconds. All right, so I tweeted saying I was going to leave it in a bush right next to Shoreditch High Street Station and that whoever was the first person to come and get it would win a free 600 pound phone. But what they didn't know was the bush was me. If this is more than seven minutes, this is going to be a horrible afternoon. How long's it been? Three minutes. <laughs> we were so optimistic. I'll be here for half an hour, aren't I? If we'd done an iPhone, it would be gone by now. Very cool. Someone's walking down here with hella purpose. There's a man looking for a bush. It's gotta be, please tell me. Yes. Hello, yeah! <laughs> My friend, would you like a free food? The protest is the bush is me. What's your name? Blue. Luke, thank you, Luke, thank you. Fucking big up, Luke. That saved me some embarrassment. All right, then we saw an advert for a fridge. Was it a fridge? But, right, if you take a closer look there, that fridge was sponsoring Euro 2020. So we did some mental gymnastics, and instead of buying a fridge, I've already got one of those. We spent the money on tickets. This is the point where you realize, fuck me, it's taking too long to make this video. But anyway, let's go all the way back to June this year, where I was looking at the group games England had coming up, and I was worried that we might get packed in off Croatia. So I thought I'd get Scotland tickets instead. Like they're ranked 58th in the world, one below Burkina Faso, five and a half million people in that country. And the best one of them that could find a place sent off is Grant Hanley. Um... Well, obviously we're gonna batter them. So I, uh, I rounded up three of my best mates from back home and spent <coughs> four grand on tickets. <laughs> the Croatia game then came along and we made them look shite. <laughs> I've got to say, uh, putting my hand on my heart during the national anthem looked way better in my head. Brilliant, I thought to myself, right? Like, oh, I can't wait for Friday. We're gonna score six. Into Grealish and England were going nowhere fast. Anyway, I, uh, I took that personally, so I went and packed them in myself. And it's Patrick Sheik who rips up the Scotland script. And then, right, fast forward like another few days and we're sat on big Cal Freezy's roof terrace watching the last game of that group of death. And the way it finished, it transpired that we would be playing Germany next. So I think it was uh, Mr. Rotashaw that was like, well, we have to get tickets for this. Which I've got to say, I, I was not confident, but I very much agreed with him. So under the guise that this was strictly business and ignoring the tax man knocking at the door, we got tickets. He's arrived. One. Watching this back in September, I'm sorry. It's just the most depressing thing. This is like reading Of Mice of Men for the second time, but you already know that George shoots Lenny. Sorry, apologies if you're about to do GCSE English, but it'll be written on the first page of your book anyway. To Shaw, big chance for England. Sterling is there again. Oh, yes. Sterling with you. Sterling. Oh. Muller has been sent through the middle of the England defence. Now 
we're just going to pretend that story ends there. We then saw an advert for an 8K TV. Uh, Mikey managed to find a good deal on one of those, thankfully, saving his own job. No, I had nowhere to mount this, but we've been putting it to good use. All right, then I bought this. The Emperor Peter 8.0 MMA BJJ training dummy veg leather grappling submission dummy wrestling punching throwing boxing sitting dummy. <laughs> Welcome, fella. So for this, I bought a GoPro harness and we have strapped it on him. So if you wanted to know what it's like to be laid out on your back getting absolutely pummeled by me, you should have just asked your mum. Uh, but here's a second angle. Then we saw some adverts for those like skinny pills, but I will be honest, I was just far too nervous to put my card details in. So I can inform you, still got a bit of a belly. Another slightly smaller one, we saw an advert for Apple Music, but I'll be honest, I am uh, more of a Spotify fella. So here's a bunch of codes. All right. <sighs> now, <laughs> you might be sat there thinking, hang on, Will. That's not the car you saw last time. You would be right if you cast your mind back to when we filmed the first half of this. We saw an advert for a Hyundai Ionic. We then went home and looked at the price of a Hyundai Ionic and nearly had a cardiac arrest. So I'm sat there, right, looking at my most expensive video of all time. And the best thing I've got to show you for it is a knockoff Prius. So instead, we've bent the rules and this is the Will & E channel's new Tesla Model 3. <laughs> like a Hyundai Ionic, it is also electric and it's the same price. So technically, right, I think that's a fair swap. I've thought about this, right? People who drive Teslas get loads of views have loads of subscribers. People who drive Hyundai's, they've got two kids and male pattern baldness. Plus, right, this car right here has the greatest single feature of any car on the planet ever. See, with this being an electric car, right, it doesn't really make any noise. So the government says, right, that it's mandatory that it has a PWS a pedestrian warning system. Now what that is, basically, it's just a tiny little speaker at the front of the car that if needed, can make a little sound to warn blind people if you're coming to knock them over. But the thing is, right, as long as it can play a sound, the government's happy. They don't care about what sound you play. So let me show you what I've done. So watch what happens every time I press the horn. All right, so we're driving along the road. We're driving along the road. Oh no, there's a cameraman in the way. Right, hello. <laughs> All right, so let me show you a couple of options for the horn. Uh, we can do a bit of Vicstar, if this works. Hey guys, it's me, Vicstar123. <laughs> or we can go for the classic. These nuts. But that's not all, right? Because you can also set a sound to play as you like drive along, I assume, a kind of like replace general engine noise. So now uh, my car plays Hesky time. You don't know what you're messing with. This is Hesky kid. He's a master of rhythm. His face is shot. Let me feel me. You don't know what you're messing with. This is Hesky <clears throat> Except, uh, my friend, sadly, my car doesn't actually do that. Uh, I managed to buy it without realizing it was only the American models that have that feature. So we just sell a tape, a Bluetooth speaker on the front and uh, did it that way. All right, my friends, I now just want to take this time to announce the Fable Trade video is back on one year later. And this car right here, you see, will not be sticking around for long. 